previously on the season. I think we've got to make them play, boys. Let, let's take the referee out of it, OK? Nice, Spiker. Well done, Luke. Good ball. Well, it was great to meet with uh, the current team. I don't know if other people felt the same way, but it was hard not to put yourself in their shoes. The number one is you play rugby well. You play it fairly and play as a good team member. With the Premiership decider only days away, the clock is counting down on some of the players' high school careers. For Year 13's Cullen Goldsmith and Neela Masima, it may be their final chance to leave a lasting impression on the fields of number two. Oh, last man's foot, one step back, one step back. Oh, up, 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 let's go. Yeah, push him, push him, push him, push him. The modern game encourages every player to have a voice. Some choose to use theirs more often than others. Hustle, or you, Chrissy, eat him up. Eat him up, Chrissy. Eat him up, Sean, our cuz. Fantasy, fantasy. <laughs> Yo, man on me, man on me, jump on me. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Up. Front jump, front jump. Come on. Take, 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 take. Sit! Move back, move back, move back. Come, 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 Oh. 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 Let's go, let's go. Oh. Good lift. One thing I remember from the final last year was that like, everyone went quiet and you know, we went into the shelves for like, most of the like, first half. Obviously things are going to go wrong, not, not going to go our way, but I reckon we just bounce back and just like, get ready for the next one, all right? So I reckon it's all up top, but you yeah, just have fun, all right? Yeah. Yo. SDC! Yeah. Can I have a juice, Scotty? You, yeah, mate. Do you want? Uh, yeah, right. No, I reckon I'm in the changing room. Everyone's going to be real quiet. Everyone's going to be in their shelves. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully leading on as soon as we run out. Hopefully everyone's fired up and pumped. Yeah, yeah. Back here afterwards? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're not here like last time. Parents don't want it here, so. How do you feel about the team? Our team? Um, a bit, a bit rough. A bit rough? Yeah, um, the training could have been a bit better, a bit sloppy at times, but... Oh, that, that's our season though, isn't it? We've never had a good training. <laughs> How many televised games have you had? Not much. Not much. Two. Oh, no, because it was two last year. Oh. Yeah, there would have been. One, final. None of our round robin games were televised. Had a shock around televised game. Nervous. Makes me nervous to think of it. It's the throwing, man. It's got to be straight. Or you ripped out for there, eh? <laughs> Depending if we win on Sunday, will depend on who we play. And I don't really want to travel up to Napier, so we better win. Best we win. Otherwise, it's going to be a long bus ride. And it's just dumb losing. What rules do you play? Uh, seven on anything. But whenever someone plays a seven, you have to play lower. Yeah. Ten no, seven is lower, just lower. Oh, just lower. Two's restart? Yeah. And you can put two on anything? Yeah. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> yeah, I that was an actual accident. Uh, all good, all good. Nervous for this weekend? Uh, not yet, but I'll start getting nervous probably Saturday, Sunday morning. Yeah. It's going to be a pretty hard game, to be honest. Yeah, I know. They'll be way different to last time, I reckon. Finals rugby, anything can happen. Any of your family coming over? Yeah, my mum's um, mum and my brother are coming over from Sydney tonight. Spend the weekend here and watch the grand final, then head back. I was going to get people to come, but I am playing. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Back next week, though. He'll be back next week. I think we've come a long way, from especially from Napier. 
the first game. There was a big black um, learning curve, eh? Yeah, because all the young players like, yes. were a bit... I don't think they're, they're, they're ready for it. But now, so after we've had like so many games, and we're starting to play rugby like together as a team, I, I hate it when it comes to this sport. <laughs> the moment of truth. Oh, no way! Oh, you win! <laughs> Border or day boy, each player has a battle of their own to fight and must collectively rise together to achieve success. It's grade finals day and Silverstream plays host to the 2018 finals. Get there boys. Don't do anything silly lads. It's an opportunity for the first 15 to give back to the parents, players and supporters who cheer them on every week. Do you have like a cue before you kick like a Dan Bigger or a Johnny Wilkinson? You need one, that's how, that's how you become a good kicker. You need something. What's he do? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Carol. Mackenzie does a good old smile. Yeah, I was reading about it the other day. He, uh, he does it because his coach um, played like, when he was like missing heaps, he's like, coach like, think of like a happy place. Yeah, happy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Unlucky. Silverstream's immediate rugby future seems to be in perfect health, with the second 15 winning Premier 2. It's a major victory for the sports community and further indication that the rugby program continues to thrive under its current structure. Many of these players form part of the wider training squad and will ride the interchange bench for tomorrow's Premiership final. Whether this adds confidence or pressure, remains to be seen. One particularly reluctant spectator this season has been open side Josh Southall, who after making the New Zealand schools team in 2017, has had an injury setback to deal with. So at the start of the year, in a game of warm-up touch actually, I tore my ACL by sidestepping and um, that I th only thought it was going to be like a four, six week injury, but it turns out it was a full year and a knee surgery. At the time I was uh, very gutted, um, as most kids would be, but I've just come to terms with accepting my injury and it is what it is and I've just got a good support team around me now. Southall admits the road back is mental as well as physical. I'm doing something every day um, regarding my rehab. I do two upper body sessions a week, one pull session, and then the rest just legs, biking, strengthening work on it, just to keep up to date with it. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go 30 seconds on each leg, just on the wobble board, and then once I've done that, I'll do about 10 box squats uh, on the double legs, and then I'll probably go five on the single leg. So. I've just been taught that you've got to um, accept your injuries and you've just got to accept how it comes and what happen. it's just how you deal with it, but yeah, i just got to take it slowly and step by step because it's a long process. I'll mainly do a lot of my rehab at the school gym because they have great facilities there and that I have a key which is super handy. I also do a bit of um, rehabbing at the Hurricanes facility in town. It's feeling good, it just gets better day by day. I can walk very well, I just um, need to get the full extension back while walking and then once I've ticked that stage off, I can move on to the next stage which will be running. And now I've just got to do everything I can for the team in that sense and I've just got a different role. More or less I've just been helping out with the manager, doing like little jobs, uh, still just keeping involved with the team. Um, I do a bit of video analysis with some of the boys, just looking at the micro skills and sort of things, stuff that I've been taught last year, which I'd just like to share it on with the boys and yeah, just making sure the water bottles are full, trainings and games. Despite the injury casting a shadow over 2018, 
the school ensures that Southall's off-the-field commitments are monitored as closely as any on-field statistics. I'll just have a look at, um, I'll check your credits out, just see where we're going, but I'm sure it's all good, but let's have a, have a browse. How's the um, mentoring going with the yeah, no, students class? Are going good? Yeah, no, it's going good. I uh, just have to organise a chess competition. In, oh, the, yeah. in the library, yeah, oh, yeah. so yeah. she's put me in charge of that for right now. How do you feel about the chess? Oh, well, I've never put anyone in checkmate before, but uh, <laughs> I don't know how they put me in charge. Well, let's go, um, let's go results here. Oh, it looks like you're doing pretty well here, eh? How's the carpentry going? Uh, yeah, it's going well. It's going good. You're yeah. smashing back into that. And you get to, put a, get to put a plaque up there. This is made by... Southall has his bases covered, knowing that opportunities in rugby, while tempting, can be fleeting and he prepares for life with, without, and after sport. Oh, yeah. you got, do you know where the other credits are coming from? Uh, there's about 20 from P, um, and then there's the geo ones, and then the religious studies, so. Oh, I see, good. Yes, I've still got a fair few that have been, haven't been ticked off yet. So. Oh, sweet. And you feel confident with those other ones? So it... Yeah, well, I'd like to hope so. Yeah. So, no, just gotta do my best. Oh, it's good, all looking pretty good, eh? Despite the previously comfortable win against their brother's school, rugby purists know that Stream have an opposition who are quickly improving. There is no room for error and no second chances at this stage of the season. I think uh, if we win the toss, I've said to Luke, might as well. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Before, before. Before. Yeah, you get into them early. Go on. We've got to play, you know, just be patient, keep building pressure as long as we're in control, then look to go to the edge. Some of the boys seem a bit quiet, eh? But I don't think it's so natural. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Chris is talking heaps. Yeah. <laughs> Who he's going to smash and... <laughs> Just a couple of little quick things. Big thing for me is, is, is our talk, OK? So let's make sure we connect up, OK? When we connect up, we'll get some better team rugby, OK? So let's talk about the pictures we're seeing, attack and defence. Let's make sure we talk to the guy next to us so we're on the same page. Let's tidy it up, fellas. Come on. Talk up, talk up. Nice ball, Riley. Nice, boys. Keep talking, keep talking. Last one. Team performance is what we're after, okay? So let's connect up, play together, okay? Let's make good decisions out there. Enjoy, boys. Let's go, eh? Lots of energy. Traditional rivals have played each other 86 times, with Stream winning 62 and five matches drawn. Of course, these results mean nothing in the heat of battle. I think if we can keep pressuring like this and just keep chipping, we'll, we'll go right, I think. Messages are they come to play, yeah? yeah? So let's keep it simple, okay? Where are we the most effective? When we carry hard, Micah, just park it, bro. It's all good, mate. It's all good. We've got to get back on top by playing simple, okay? Let's go, boys, straight back in that game. St. Pat's Town have indeed come to play. And with the Premiership on the line, the physicality is dialed up by both teams. Get a 
tackle on, Chris. Ball, Richie, ball! Ball, ball! Get on him! Go, Rocco! Back yourself! Go, Rocco! Eventually, the intensity takes its toll, with one of Stream's most potent attackers coming off second best in a tackle. Oh, he's all right, he's all right. Rocco's taking a bit of a ding, so just be all. There might be something Sorry, happening. Tried to squeeze over Cullen Goldsmith, but a shot. Now, through the ball there, it is the first try for St. Pat's Silverstream, and it's Nayla Marcema. He's on his knee! He can't go in there, ref! Go, Sim! Just hold, hold! Nila Masima's try has the desired effect, with a blue and white shift in momentum. Good start, fellas. Well done, boys. Just make sure we're there with our support runners, boys. Nila, eyes up now, bro. Look at, look at him. Get some shoulders on your tackles, mate. They're just slipping out of your arms. Much eyes! Tim, Tim, we're gonna pull Rocco, he's not running. Rocco's no good. He's not running. We'll put Sam at fullback, okay? <laughs> it's Riley 10, Sam 15. Riley, they're, sh they're shooting up obviously, so just keep it dropping Micah in, I reckon, just for a while, because that's where they've got it, they intercepted and then Edmund shot up before. So keep it tight for a bit, get, build some pressure, and that's what I said to before the game, we've got to earn the right to go wide. Just stay here, Riley. Get a line up, boys! Look up, look up, Luke! Got it, look up! Rocco next stoppage is going to come off. Is that what Jess is? Yeah, look, yeah. It's gone. Or should we get it now? Do it now? Should we do it now? Hard luck, Rocco. Hard luck, mate. Rocco Berry's withdrawal is unfortunate, but it does little to upset team cohesion and stream take the lead. A lot of pressure for St. Pat's Town. These numbers. They hit the left side of the tie. Sima gets a dub. That eyes up on defence is huge, guys, because we're, we're actually in front of them, or in the vicinity of them, but we're actually not actually getting right of body on body. All right, so we've got to get their eyes up, OK? If our support players, their body position is not very flash, you need to get lower and get harder in, OK? A lot of you are going in with arms, trying to move them with arms. You can't use arms there, boys. You've got to be, got to be brutal in that area, OK? Go to work, boys. Go to work. The St. Pat Silverstream First 15 have played 16 games this season and seem to be narrowly winning the war of attrition, but Town are not relenting. Get over him, Riley! Get over him! Man, I'm on an edge. Bloody heart's a bit of a jump out of my chest. Put a head on here. One week earlier, Town had surprised a strong Scots College in the other semi final and has served as a critical alert to the stream playing and coaching group. Come on, tackle! Get over him, Chris! Get over him, Chris! No, no, don't rush, don't rush. Forbes. Missed pass, then an offload. Good ball, return ball for Massima. He's going to get three tries to look forward. What a game he's having. Watching that blind, Sean. Well, yeah, he just wants the boys to march forward. Can they get it down? Those replacements have given some new energy. We're not executing simple. Yeah. Our ruck cleanouts are not simple. We're going in too high. You've got to get low, boys. Another short side. Play Forbes. He's into everything. Go, Nila! Go, Nila! Hold it! Massima Perowitz, two and a half to go to come out to the left side. Hear me! Yes! Just wait for wait with Tim, but you're probably going for him. Just wait here, wait, 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 wait until they pull him. You right, Sean? 
Good decisions, mate. Keep working hard, eh? Ten to go, Sean. We have to get another try now. Straight away. Hey, boys, when the simple's done well, look what it happens, okay? So just keep doing that, okay? Don't let them back in the game. The game's not won, okay? Marley Forbes, nice ball. Yona Apineri's try has thrown the game open and Stream threatened to pull away with another penalty. Get on him! Sam! What do you reckon? What is it? What's that? That's 11, so that'd be 14. That'd be two tries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? I'll let them call it. Oh, Luke's already called it anyway. Is he called? Yeah. That's a cool shot. He's a cool shot. Okay. Town have played outstanding. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Still not over yet, though, boys. Still eight minutes. Mate, they're pretty wrecked. Yeah, yeah. They've been, yeah. been defending a lot of. This has been physical, eh? Yeah. yeah fair play to town, they can't. Oh, mate, they're, all, they're going real well. Get on them, Yon. Chase line, chase line! Nigel Bingham is right. The defending champions are wrecked and lapses in defence will be costly as Town comes storming back within reach. Yeah. Give me a big two minutes. Work, flag! Oh. Go to work! Eyes up! Knock on time. Yes, well done, Nides. Bloody beauty, mate. That's well. Oh, Jesus. The final whistle signifies more than the end of 70 minutes. It draws a curtain on a remarkable two years where Silverstream has achieved back to back undefeated traditional seasons and premierships for the first time in its history. Well done, mate. Well done. In addition to those record-breaking feats, much of the squad have played their final regular season game for this school after five years at Silverstream. <laughs> but sport waits for no one, and shortly after these celebrations die down, planning for next season will begin. For more information about St. Patrick's College Silverstream, please visit stream.school.nz.